Um, so this week we were able to chat via Google Doc and we plowed through all of our questions. Um, the first one we talked about was how we can move from just making this um, something that we talk about into actually putting it into action. And one of the things we all agreed on was um, starting small whenever possible, which was reminiscent to me of the Levitt and Dubner Think Like a Freak. Um, we all kind of agreed that if you think of it on a micro level, you will have more success because you have more control over what happens in your classroom than if you try and bite off more than you can chew on that macro level. So that led us into what we, we can continue to do to making sure that we're holding ourselves accountable for this growth mindset piece and, and at the same time helping our students um, engage with it. And we agreed that a lot of it goes back to flexing those reflective and collaborative muscles, specifically with the feedback piece. Like that was something that I will admit that was a weakness of mine and we talked a lot about in the previous course, 602 about seeking mentorship and feedback as a means of growing and then helping your kids also engage with those as well and learning that it's not a bad thing to get feedback from other people and it's actually something that would help you grow. So um, when it comes to different sorts of strategies and practices and reinforcement, when you're trying to help people, we agreed that um, we can be models and, in, and we can engage in positive self-talk as well as um, training kids to um, use different language. I'm not there yet. Um, what strategies can I try? Oops, this didn't work, sorts of things. Um, as well as giving them the, the opportunities to be reflective and apply that success and failure strategies to a wide variety of content areas. So although this all seems great on paper, we also agreed that yes, there are some negative impacts to learning, um, specifically with for me, I really resonated with the cane piece, the what are we focusing on, praising kids and building up their self-worth, or is our focus on learning? And to me, um, that was really kind of like a, an aha or a mind-blowing moment when um, it was pointed out that we need to be intentional about recognizing and being honest about learning, not just building kids up with this false sense of esteem or praise. So no, growth mindset isn't the only thing that you need to be successful. Um, Kane also pointed out that it um, it's going to take more than just trying to put a band-aid on the kids. You're also going to have to think about what you can do as a teacher and what you can do with your curriculum to be engaging and meet the needs of your students. And overall, I think I'm still on board with growth mindset. However, um, this was the first real experience that I've had with some of the pushback on it as well and to me that was um, really exciting to also hear Dweck recognize that it's not perfect yet we don't know a lot about it yet it's a work in progress still um, because if there aren't people that are willing to take risks and be receptive to feedback then it's kind of a hypocritical idea in and of itself so exciting stuff